Marcy Ryan, Action 4 News, has obtained a copy of this document alleging rape, sexual assault, and a possible cover-up. It also alleges it happened inside this Wendy's restaurant. The teen victim's lawyer says he filed the pre-suit discovery with the Cameron County District Attorney's Office. He says they're asking that those accused provide sworn statements in regards to the allegations of rape and sexual assault. Collins tells Action 4 News a 16-year-old girl was reportedly raped and, quote, tortured while working at Wendy's at the 2300 block of Boca Chica for over a year. Collins also confirms that this man, 45-year-old Carlos Castillo, supervised at Wendy's confessed to the crime. He says paragraph 11 on page 3 of the petition refers to Castillo. It states, quote, Petitioner seeks to obtain this pre-suit discovery to investigate a potential claim or claims by petitioner as a result of a series of rapes and sexual assaults against petitioner Jane Doe. End quote. Exelco Inc. is named in the petition as the area's Wendy's employer for several of the accused employees. Their attorney, Mike Holland, tells Action 4 News they are aware of the allegations and they are investigating, but says at this time they are just allegations. Collins says they want a thorough investigation and are looking to file civil and criminal suits. We know that there have been several instances of rape and sexual torture by managers and supervisors of Wendy's and we're going to take the discovery and get the sworn statements to get to the bottom of that. We know that our government has told us, our Supreme Court has told us that corporations are people and it's now time for the criminal laws and the civil laws to be applied to corporations like they are to people. Attorney Robert Collins says Castillo is now being linked to other cases. However, he could not comment on those. He also states the district attorney's office will be taking this case before a grand jury soon and other victims are expected to come forth. In Brownsville, Daisy Martinez, Action for News.